Mytho-history is the name of a peculiar genre of ancient literature that was identified by the great Assyriologist Torkild Jakobsen. Jakobsen, in analyzing a piece of Mesopotamian literature that he called the Eridu Genesis, uh, Eridu was a Babylonian city, um, said that this narrative combines mythological motifs that were current in ancient Mesopotamia along with a historical interest as it narrates the succession of Sumerian kings and the dates of their reigns. And this fusion or combination of mythology and history Torkild Jakobsen called mytho-history. And quite a number of Old Testament scholars have picked up on this and said that this is what we have in Genesis 1 to 11. We have a historical account of the pre-patriarchal uh, heroes such as Adam and Enoch and Noah and others, but these narratives are clothed with the garb of the figurative and metaphorical language of myth and therefore shouldn't be pressed for a sort of literal interpretation that would be foreign to this type of literature. So that's what's meant by mytho-history and how it is a very, very important issue for the interpretation of these first few chapters of the Old Testament.